I'm making these countertops and I was looking at how to cut the Formica laminate and I saw a lot of other people what they do and so this is the big sheet of it that I plan on cutting this weekend um, but this is the sample that I wanted to you know test out with to get my method of cutting down and I saw where some people well, you know you just use a circular saw so I just did a test with it and you can kind of see here where it's chipped now it's not chipped too bad and realistically it probably wouldn't be the end of the world with that uh, just because I'm gonna have some overhang that I'm gonna take off with the router bit but I saw somewhere where you could do something where you take this uh, tape it's just painters tape you put it over the line where you want to cut it and you run your cut and uh, it gives you relatively smooth lines so I want to uh, just show that process because I think that this is probably what I'm going to end up doing. So you can see here I put my painter's tape on here and I'm just going to put it on this piece of wood. I'm going to run the saw past it and we'll see how it looks. Alright, well, it seems like we got a pretty clean cut. I'm going to take this tape off and we'll see how it looks. Uh, it looks a ton better. You can still see there's a small little chip right there. Uh, if my camera will focus on it. But it's a lot smaller than this chip that we had initially. And... Uh, this is definitely the method I'm going to be using. I also like it because I can lay the paint down, the painter's tape down in the area about that I'm going to cut. Then I can just take Sharpie, uh, draw my line. Don't even have to worry about it getting on the laminate. So, anyways, uh, I think this is a solid method circular saw and painter's tape.